Welcome back to another shitty unboxing. Today I'm unboxing the CMF budget experience. So this was earphones, smartwatch and phone, which is the nothing CMF phone one it's a silly name but I wanted something just to play around with and I didn't have the money for anything better so this all came to 300 quid so let's do the unboxing you can see I've already uh, opened it but then thought oh, I better film it so, let's start with the headphones so these are the earbuds pro LDAC whatever that means. They come in three colours, I think it's like a four colours, orange, blue, white and black I believe, but uh, let's find out. These are the second version of that down the knees. Nothing they're a company that I've kind of, I really want to support, but everything I've had of theirs has been really naff. Yet, I keep coming back, and you can see how hot it is by my hair sweating. We've got some interesting functions. Bloody hell, it's hot. USB-C cable and some different coloured ear pieces. Got to be honest, this pretty solid case, just all square. Got this function where in the app you can change it to different things. Let's have a look. Might have to change to the bigger rear tips, but definitely gonna have to change to the bigger rear tips, but they're quite like the nothing buds it's very it's like matte finish but very slippery next up we have the smartwatch this is the nothing pro 2 they released another one which was just an apple watch kind of rip off i do like my smartwatches to be round or i do prefer them to be round This also comes in the same colours, orange, black, blue and white. I went for the orange one because it was kind of funky. Now this was 70 quid, these were 60. A very similar unboxing experience. How does this charge then? Uh, magnetic block. Gotcha. Uh, more paper. Uh, um. Okay, it feels a bit better than I was expecting it to. Since apparently you get it's not iOS, uh, Wear OS or anything, but apparently you can remove the bezel and stuff like that. Uh, it's kind of leather-ish. Yeah, it's plastic as hell. <laughs> uh, and you can probably hear my wife upstairs. Sorry, 
we're having a night in and I wanted to get this done before so I can play with it. You in? That's one. I've done that on the wrong side. Oh well. Could always change it around later. Just change it around now because it will bug me if I don't. So you just kind of around that side, yeah, that needs to be at the bottom. I do like the fact that it's just a normal kind of watch strap. So none of that special link, weird link stuff. And Let's try to turn that on. It's an AMOLED screen, I believe. Like I said, it's a shitty unboxing thing. You're not in. I... There we go. So, interesting. Now, onto the phone. I've always kind of already opened this bit. I want the orange one as well, but that was 40 quid more. And not available until September, according to Amazon. Charger, USB C to USB C, that's nice to see. And then we have here. I don't know why they made me read that, that was awkward. You get a SIM tool, but you should get a screwdriver as well. And the idea of the screwdriver... No, no, just the SIM tool. Oh, you're meant to get a screwdriver as well, which in the international version anyway. Because the back of this phone is plastic and can be removed and changed. So where are we? Yeah, that feels cheap. We've got another... That one doesn't seem to move though. So what you can do is you can remove the back and that, and you can get like different accessories. So you can get, you move that out of the way, put it back and you can get a stand, a wallet. Which I'm going to need, because this doesn't have NFC. But for 180 quid, I was curious. So it's 6.7 inch AMOLED, uh, 120 hertz screen. Uh, it's got some big old bezels. You can feel how kind of cheap it is. But it's got, I mean, if you watched, um, what's it called? Jerry Egg Everything, it passed this bend test. Uh, comes with uh, nothing's own UI. I'm going to try using this without a case, I think, because I've not done that for a long time with a phone. I feel like it's plastic and it's easily replaceable. Why not give it a go, I guess? So, um, yeah, that's everything. What does that feel on the wrist? Oh, it's cheap. Oh, yeah, you can feel like it feels like a like a twenty quid watch, which don't get me wrong, is not that far off from being six sixty nine, but it's quite small on the wrist. Easily done. Apparently, your battery lasts up to seven hours. Uh, if you want to kind of review on this, give me a shout, and I might do it. Mainly, it's just unboxing shit.